Today, let's talk about Tor, what it is, how it's used, so you can have a good understanding of its capabilities. So Tor is short for the Onion Router, and Tor really refers to a network of servers that allows you to communicate anonymously over the internet. So you can imagine if you're using Tor on a computer, either through Tor browser or other connection methods, traffic can be communicated anonymously by going through Tor relays or servers that help keep your data encrypted and get it from point to point to your final end node, which is really what I consider the place you're trying to get data to and from. And this is because there are a bunch of volunteers running these servers on their personal machines, which allow you to do something called relay your connection through their computers, which these relays help conceal your usage data as well as help prevent any analysis on the network data that you're transferring over between servers. Anyways, another thing that's absolutely great about Tor is Tor is a free and open source project, meaning anyone can view, contribute, build or modify the code so that the code is transparent to the users of Tor and they can verify that there is no telemetry, malware or other vulnerabilities built into the network or apps provided by Tor, which is an absolute great thing. FOSS can be one of those wonderful things where we get contributors from all over the world working on a project together to help make our lives easier and better. So we might be asking ourselves, what is the intended use of Tor? It's really for personal privacy purposes. So you can stay anonymous using the Tor network over the internet because data is encrypted in hopes to make sure it's not shared or analyzed by outside organizations. And to stay on top of personal privacy and learn more about your operating systems, make sure to subscribe below for future videos and hit that notification bell. Let's now talk about how Tor was created. This network routing method was created in the 1990s, somewhere probably mid 90s by the USNRL, also known as the United States Naval Research Lab and was intended to protect American intelligence online. This is because Tor was originally made as a way to encrypt data that was transferred over networks in such a way where it couldn't be intercepted. And it took until somewhere around September 2003, where Tor was first released to the public and the usage today varies from user to user. So when we talk usage, things like chatting, surfing, the web, transferring data, and more all anonymously on the web without exposing data that's transferred from endpoint to endpoint. Because on this Tor network, we have an encryption. So ever since 2003, Tor has been widely used by people searching for privacy while online. Although one thing that even Tor itself mentions on their FAQs or frequently asked questions is Tor does not protect all of your computer's traffic when you run it. Tor only protects applications that are properly configured to send their traffic through Tor meaning you have control over how you send that traffic on Tor and it's not 100% foolproof. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below to their FAQs. That way you can read through. They have a ton of great information here that people ask all the time. And here's another one where the question is, am I totally anonymous if I use Tor? Generally, it's impossible to have perfect anonymity. Even with Tor, though, there are some things you can practice to improve your anonymity while using Tor and being offline. So do not expect to be using Tor to stay completely anonymous because it's easy for endpoints where you're sending data to and from your computer to profile your computer, browser, and connection to figure things out like location data and, and usage statistics, of course, even more, but it's hard to get around data collection because it also has to do with whatever endpoint you're reaching that provides information back to your computer. But overall, Tor is a great tool that can help or even a solution that can replace a VPN. It's free, but it's not intended, at least in the present day, to keep you completely anonymous and private. Don't go in thinking that the Onion Router Network is going to solve all your issues and using Tor Browser is going to solve all your privacy issues. It's not, although it can help you take more precaution to make sure you're not just giving your data away blindly to organizations and companies that are tracking that data even through your network before it actually gets to an endpoint. Well, that's about it. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Did you learn something today? If you did, smash that like button. Catch me in the comment section below and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.